I ran into the engine bay now of the Pajero. I've cheated a little. Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman. Today I'm going to be taking around our 2010 Active Pajero. Obviously you've already inquired on the vehicle, so you know this car has a couple of kilometres on it. And that's why we're going to do this video mostly focusing on condition, condition, condition. And this car presents very well. We'll start at the front of the vehicle. Obviously a standard Pajero here, really iconic frame on the car. We have got a factory fitted nudge bar, two holes there so you can put an aerial or a light bar across there if you felt that you wanted to. Do with the active, get the fog lights in the front grill, front bumper bar here, as well as the nice projector headlights, a bit of an update, a bit clearer at night time as well. One thing I'm going to do, my camera is going to have to stop for a moment, you will see across the front of the bonnet here, some very, and I'm being really picky on this car, very minor stone chips on the front of the bonnet, most of which have been touched up, and I'm talking very minor at the front here. No signs of any on the front bumper bar here at all. Coming down the side of the vehicle, one of the features I like, does have Cooper Discovery tyres all at the front of this car, really good condition all terrains at the front. Coming down the side, no signs of scratches or dents on the guard, mirror nice and clean as well. Coming to the side skirts, having a look at it here, no signs of any damage, a little bit of a scuff just here underneath, quite common on the Pajeros actually, but very, very picky there if I'm being honest. No signs of any fingernail marks or anything across the doors, no signs of any sort of paint chips at all. Coming to the back, we've got a set of all-terrain tyres on the back as well. They look to be brand new actually as well, so nice chunky tread at the back. Obviously going to allow this Pajero to do what Pajeros do best, and that's play in the mud. Now, having a look at the rear quarter, no signs of any dings, nicks, or scratches here at all. Coming around to the back of the Pajero now, we have, obviously, Pajero Direct Inject Diesel Active Badge there, just to let you know you bought an Active. Do have the tow bar on the back of this one. Pajero is renowned as a brilliant tow vehicle as well. Now, this car isn't fitted with reversing sensors, something you could easily talk to our aftermarket department about doing, but we do have the reversing camera just hidden away here in the uh, little tyre cover. While we're talking about the rear tyre, you will notice road tyre on the back, Bridgestone AT22 by the looks of it, still got its little fuzzy things on it as well, just with the road tyre on the back there. Coming around the rear quarter of the car, just clearing off a little bit of dust here, we do have a minor scratch there and there, quite minor actually, but I do want to note them. Coming around the passenger side now, this is the side where we generally see damage to that horrible concrete gutter with thing we call a gutter and kids and things for school drop off. Yet again, brand new all-terrain tire at the back here. No signs of scratching or anything on the rear quarter. Uh, rear door handle, really clean. Rear door, clean, no signs of scratches. Along here, along to the passenger door, no sign of any scratches at all. So overall, we're getting a very clean car. Front guard, no signs of any damage here as well. Front wheel, undamaged as well. Cooper all-terrain tire on the front. So coming around the exterior of this car, apart from some very, very minor stone chipping on the front bonnet, I am struggling to find a nick or a scratch on this vehicle. It presents brilliantly. All right, round to the engine bay now of the Pajero. I've cheated a little bit by opening it up. You will see Pajero fitted with the nice sand ending across the top and across the back firewall there, making the diesel a little bit nicer to live with. First thing it'll jump out at you is fitted with a deep cycle battery there, so dual purpose deep cycle and cranking battery there. So if you did want to wire some things up, you probably could with that battery. Now, onto the stats, you're looking at a four cylinder 3.2 litre direct inject common rail intercooled turbo diesel. There's lots of words there, but what that equates out to is 147 kilowatts of power, 441 newton meters of torque, going through a five speed sports automatic, of course, with four by four and low range capability. You're going to get 9.2 litres to the 100 kilometres. Out of an 88 litre tank, you are going to get just under a thousand kilometres at 957 kilometres of average range and the possibility to tow three tons. Right, round to the back of the Pajero now. As I mentioned just a moment ago at the front, we do have three ton towing capacity here. Do have the tow bar there with the drop hitch to get it away from the tire. If you do have a big caravan hitch, you can actually go through parts and get a tire lift kit, which lifts it a little bit further out of the way, making a bit more space there. 
will open the tailgate up, does open the correct way unlike my Toyota, so you can get to it from the curb, which is nice. So open the door up, push the little latch here so it doesn't lock you when it uh, wind catches it. We'll note on the back of this car, the plastic trims does have some damage across the back here. Have had something in the back cargo area that's rummaged around, but the top upper trims look like they've got away reasonably unscathed, but the lower black trims have copped a little bit of scratching around around the interior. We'll have a look at the seat. The seat looks like it's been folded in and that previous owner has just used the rear cargo space because the seat trim looks really, really good here. Quite simple to lower in the Pajero. Pop that down, pop that down. Remove our little cargo bay here, pop that in front of you. Then we just grab our little seat, pop that down, push him out of the way, grab our little piece of carpet again, pop him in. And then you've got all your storage area, which is going to reveal a little bit more about the condition of the back. As I mentioned, do have some scratching here on the lower black trims here on both sides. The white trims look pretty unscathed actually, and the roof lining looks really good. Just look at the lower black trims have taken a little bit of a roughness in their life. All right, on the inside of the Pajero Active now, as you can see, a really nice place to be. Pajeros are quite commonly used as long range tourism. There's a reason, just comfortable in here. Now, one thing I'll start off with, with the seat I'm sitting in, no signs of any cloth wear or anything like that, because you're not going to see because I'm sitting in it. Anyway, we'll start off in the middle here, steering wheel, some very light signs of wear on it, but for the kilometres of this vehicle, steering wheel presents brilliantly, actually, very, very minor across the top there. We do have our cruise control on the right, Bluetooth phone are across the bottom, and our audio controls, of course, on the left side. Coming across a little bit, we've got our headlight switch here, of course, and indicators, as you'd expect. Down here we've got our mirror controls including a little button that folds them away if you're in a car park or something like that, you can fold them in. Front and rear fog light of course, and of course we've got our power windows as well as our window and door locks if I don't want my cameraman to escape anywhere. Little chrome door handle there as well, nice cloth trim on the doors, this softens it up nicely actually. Coming back across now, very easy to read speedo there, you've got 110 dead in the middle and all of our increments down the left side nice and easy to deal with. In the centre here we have a little four wheel drive indicator currently telling us we're in four high and the car showing 211,400 kilometres at the current time. On the right we have our taco as well as a little selector there showing us what gear we're in. Moving that way. Coming across to the left, I'm going to confuse my cameraman and go up here at this point. We have the electrochromatic mirror here, so basically gone is the days of the little switch. Never have to worry about that again. Bright headlights, hey, you can see me, hello. Um, bright headlights come along behind you and the mirror will dim down. They go away, brightens back up again. Coming up from there as well, a feature yet again made for long distance touring. You can do it in a couple of ways. You can pop it in behind there to block the sun, or if you fold the mirror across here, you can block the sun from there. Great feature if you're traveling up the Hume on an afternoon, the sun's in your eye, you can block it with that. A nice little feature. Back down again. Cameron following me down this way. We have our trip computer here. Obviously shows many things. Currently got 160 kilometers of driving range. It's 19 degrees here in sunny Berwick. Push this button and it'll show you all of your little things you need to know about elevation. You can, if you climb over the ranges, you can see how high you got. It's a pretty cool little feature. Barometer as well, useful if you're camping calendar and then turn it off and then back on again of course coming down from there we've got our mmcs communication system here obviously it has all of our radio stations and all of our audio system encompassed in there coming down a bit further we have our climate control single zone in the pajero how much temperature how much fan and of course you've got where you want it as well Coming down a bit further, we've got storage nooks for many things. We've got a little one in here with, I think that's for business cards and maybe other things, I don't know. You can choose what you want to put in there actually. A little blank button there, so if you were to put, you know, spotlights or something there, you can pop a button. As well as a little blank and a little nook there for a 12 volt socket as well. Coming down from there, we've got our little system here with our automatic shifter. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, and if you're towing a trailer or something and you need to hold a gear up a hill, you do have the option of sports mode as well to select a gear and stay in it. While it goes through reverse, just have a look. We've got a picture out the back. You're looking at a camera, taking a photo of a camera. There you go. Pop it back into park, move back down. We have our four wheel drive system. Gonna leave it in too high most of the time. On dirt roads, etc. you have four high, four high locked center, 50% power front and back, and then four low locked center to cross streams and ford mountains or whatever the phrase is. There you go, go everywhere. 
Down here, we've got a little section here for coins and of course your cups as well. Minor little wear just there. And as I said, I'm being very picky with this car, to be honest. Service booked, we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Little latch there. We'll give you a little carpeted area for all of your things that you want to have carpeted luxury. Then we pop that open and we've got this feature of an armrest adjustable. Let's pop that back. Another latch will release into the bigger glove box that is hiding a 12 volt socket all the way down there somewhere very large space there. I'm going to get my cameraman to zoom around the interior and you'll notice the trim condition in the front of the car. There was some scratching in the rear cargo area. None of that up here. Really, really clean. Seat trims are good. Door trims are actually really good. The rear seat, really good. I will get my cameraman to spin around and have a look at his door trim because there is a minor mark on the door trim that he's got his back against right now. He'll have a look at that while I flick the service book open as well. All right, going into the service books. Hello again. Going into the service books here. Really good service history on this car, actually. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi. Now, it looks like there's a little gap here, but 68,000. The car sort of... Most people are within a 2,000 of servicing, so it slowly gained out a little bit to 68 to 75. Isn't stamped. 92. Mitsubishi again. So it's had Mitsubishi history most of its life. Actually, all of its life. Bendigo Mitsubishi all the way through. And then with us at the end. Now, when we do our service here, we do oil filter change. We do a 125-point safety check and a full roadworthy certificate on the car. So the car is right, ready to go. Amazing condition outside. Brilliant condition inside. Really good service history. The story with this one's just getting better and better. Thank you for watching this video walk around of our 2010 Active Pajero. As you've seen, amazing condition. For the kilometers on this car, you will struggle to find better. Exterior condition, brilliant. Interior, brilliant. Couple of minor scratches in the back cargo area as we've detailed, but brilliant service history as well. Previous owner has really looked after this car. Be very quick for this car. Do give us a call on the number that's about to appear on your screen. And don't forget to ask your salesperson about low rate finance options we do have that this car does qualify for. Thank you for watching. Thank you.